Spaghetti sauce that I use. I like the chunky tomato, garlic, and onion onion sauce. Um, and I get this from Walmart. Both great value brands. This much of sugar to my uh, spaghetti sauce after I add the spaghetti sauce in there. And that's all that I usually have to do um, for my spaghetti sauce. And I'm just going to let it come to a boil. And it's, you know, getting there now. I'm going to mix this sugar in. And then my sauce will pretty much be ready to go. And with this sauce, I don't have to add much. I do add just a pinch of seasoning, salt, and black pepper. My noodles right here, if y'all see the steam coming off of them, I usually just let them cool. I have them sitting on top of a bowl. Um, they're going to cool and while I prep my mixture for my lasagna that I'm going to show y'all. So let's go over here and start the mix. I have a bowl here. And in this bowl, I have about, I would say, use eight ounces of ricotta cheese. This is the kind I use. I made a pasta the other night and I drizzled some on top of mozzarella cheese on top of it. So this is what I have left of the bag. And I'm going to, this is actually a four cup bag of mozzarella cheese. So I'm gonna put all of that oh, oh, sorry, into this. Then I chopped up some spinach, about this much, which is about a handful. And I add that. And I'm sorry I'm showing y'all like this, but my tripod is not cooperating. So this is what I have to do. So then i have the squeeze sour cream i would say you would use four squirts of sour cream and then we're going to mix this just so it doesn't take a whole lot of time i usually prep everything and i have my station, prep station actually set up like noodles right here. I went ahead and separated them so it's easier for me to go ahead and layer. Have my sauce right here. And then my ricotta cheese um, spinach mixture right here. First thing you're gonna wanna do is to add some of your sauce to your pan. Just keeps the noodles from sticking to the bottom of the pan and then you're just going to basically spread it out and it's up to you how much you want to add to your pan but I just basically do it just to wet my pan and then you're going to start layering your lasagna noodles I usually put about four at the bottom. But this is kind of like a smaller pan. Depends on how big your pan is. So I got three. Now I have another layer, layer of my ricotta cheese. Y'all, I usually have more sauce, but my kids want it to make nachos. So I allowed them to make nachos with some of the sauce. I knew it was gonna make my uh, lasagna come a little short, but they're happy. So what I basically do is on my last layer, I come with some more lasagna noodles. Try to get it as straight as I can. Okay. 
So then I'm gonna add the rest of this sauce Here's on top. How, how it looks. Some people don't even put sauce on the top of their top layer of noodles, but I do because I don't want my sauce, to, my noodles to be dry. So then what I do is I have this sharp cheddar cheese. And you can use really any kind of cheese you wanna use. Some people use the mozzarella. But like I said, we made pasta, so I didn't have a full bag. Basically use what you want, but we used to use sharp cheddar cheese on our lasagna anyway on the top. Or if I have mozzarella, I sometimes use that. Just whatever I have. So, I like my top layer to be very cheesy. So I'm just going to add all of this that's in this bag to the top. Just make sure you have, you wanna have cheese in every, every area on the top of your lasagna. And my hands are clean. Just feel like I have to say that I'm constantly washing my hands. So that's all of the cheese. And this is how it's gonna look going in the oven. I usually put mine on 325 degrees and I usually let my lasagna bake for about 35 minutes or depends on your oven, how fast it cooks or whatever. I usually do about 35 minutes. Um, and I just want to do that to brown the cheese as well as let everything else cook through. Everything is basically done, but you just want all the cheeses on the inside to melt and cook. Then I sprinkle, sprinkle some um, parsley. And I just have this parsley I got from Sam's on top of it. And then I'm going to go ahead and put it in the oven. Finally took the lasagna out the oven after 35 minutes and you want to let the let your lasagna actually sit for at least about 15 minutes so it can cool down and it'll be easier to cut um, and it won't be so soupy if you cut it now it'll kind of have like a soupy effect to it in the inside so you're gonna want to let it sit for at least 15 minutes um, if you have longer I have some hungry people here so <laughs> I'm going to let mine sit for about 15 to 20 minutes, but if you have longer, maybe about, you can let it sit for 20 or 30 and it should be good to go. I have a plastic cover that I'm going to go ahead and cover it with and just let it this sit. This is my plastic cover that I have on top of my lasagna and I'm just going to let it sit and then I'll come back and plate it and show you how it looks. Lasagna after it has sitting for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut it. The longer you let it sit, the easier it is to cut it. Like I told you, I have some people that's ready to eat, so look at that. And that's about it, y'all. This is how it looks. And this is the finish. I made some barbecue chicken wings to go along with them. I fried, they're actually fried first and then I added some sauce. So this is how the lasagna looks along with that. And I hope y'all enjoy. 
If you make it, let me know how it turned out for you. And thank y'all for watching.